people, this is Hannah Masons and welcome back to my channel and another speed build. So today I am building a blue coastal suburban house in Del Sol Valley and this is going to be a very bright family home suited for I think around five sims. So there's going to be three bedrooms where there's a bunk bed in one of them. So I was thinking this family consists of two parents, a teen, a child, and a toddler. So for the lower bunk bed, there's a toddler bed, which can be easily switched out for a normal bed when the toddler ages up. However, you can of course put whatever families you'd like in here and redecorate it to fit your needs. This house is being built on the Vashes Green lot in Dulce Valley, if, that, <laughs> if that's how you pronounce it, Vashes. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but yeah, so this is a 50 by 40 lot, so it means it's a pretty big lot. However, I tried to make it smaller by putting in some roads to kind of make it float more with the surroundings. And I'm not a really big fan of how the paths are going from the road and stopping in front of the lot. <laughs> but I did try my best to, yeah, kind of incorporate it with my build. So I've actually been in a very coastal build mode lately, so I found a lot of great inspiration photos on Pinterest, so I made an entire folder just dedicated to coastal builds. Maybe it's just my mind longing for summer now, because it's currently winter where I live and the snow is pretty much just coming and going these days. <laughs> and at least times it's nice to just sit down and build something in a warmer environment and just daydream. <laughs> and actually just after finishing this build I also started another equally big lot on the mountainside of Del Sol Valley where I'm thinking some celebrities would live and I'm still not quite finished with it since I still have to do the interior and honestly, I'm not really looking forward to doing that because sometimes the interior is one of the more difficult things to do, in my opinion. But yeah, you'll get to see that build eventually when I finish it. So I'm going to put up the photo I found that inspired this build and the shape of it. In all honesty, I struggled a bit with the shape of the actual house in the beginning, but I started over one time and just created boxes and I feel like that approach makes it easier to not only do the shape but also the roofing and I also tried to look around at the neighborhood houses to try and get the look and feel of the neighborhood and what kind of houses what kind of houses you'd find on this street and actually some months ago I also did the lot on the opposite side of where I'm building now so I also wanted these two houses to go hand in hand and they're both blue as well and have that kind of suburban coastal feel to them. If you haven't checked out that build already, please make sure to do so. I'm pretty happy with how that one turned out, however, uh, sometimes I do gameplay and Actually, very recently, I moved one of my families into that house and I realized it had major routing issues because I put some of those as uh, stepping stones, or I thought it was, <laughs> like um, some debug base game ones and not the round ones, but... So apparently the sims aren't able to step on those and I didn't notice at all <laughs> because I hadn't really thought about play t testing that house but yeah what I did I I did do some changes to that house and I re-uploaded it to the gallery again so if you do download that one you're probably going to see there are some changes and for the better <laughs> so now it's actually functional and I also remembered to play test the build I'm currently doing so it's going to be functional as well and now that I've done two houses in a similar style in this neighborhood I'm 
thinking about doing the lot next to this one too. So I was thinking if I do so, the house will probably be in the same angle as this one, like not facing the street, but the other way. <laughs> and I'm thinking it would either be a smaller house for maybe a single sim or a few roommates. So what do you think I should build on that lot? Do you think one of my ideas would fit or do you have a new one? <laughs> I think it would be fun to renovate the entirety of, Zel of Del Sol Valley. So I'll see what I eventually end up with. And yeah, if that doesn't work out, <laughs> at least you'll have some bills to place in your own saves to brighten up this neighborhood a little. <laughs> So let's talk some more about today's build and as you saw in the photo earlier there was a garage in the front so I felt like it fit perfectly near the road I made going through the lot and I don't know if it's only me but I do enjoy doing garages and maybe especially in family homes because it does give up more realistic vibes so I did put a debug car in there the one from Get Together, which is probably one of my favorite cars. I put a washing machine and a dryer in there and also a wood making table and that one shelf from Stranger Will with like all the clutter on it. I think that fit perfectly in a garage. And I also put the wine shelf from Dine Out as well. So, so I do imagine this family would store some wines in there. And I'm pretty satisfied with how the exterior turned out and the front and the backyard as well. So in the backyard there's going to be a pool, which I think is a must for a suburban family house in Del Sol Valley. <laughs> and some space for tanning or just relaxing under the umbrella with a glass of lemonade or anything cool. I also included one of those small kid pools that came with Seasons and also that sprinkler that came with Seasons as well. So I do imagine there's going to be a lot of playing in the water in the backyard. And in the front yard there's going to be lots of sand so the kids can build sandcastles and play in it. And there's also going to be a swing set. And on the other side by the garage there's going to be a cozy table with lots of chairs and also a grill. So I think this family would be very outgoing and have great connections to the people living in this neighborhood. So I think they would love to host get-togethers and often have guests over for things like barbecue parties or pool parties. And the parents could also sit there and chat just watching their kids play together in the sand and I kind of love that image, so I'm glad I got some of those IDs and included them here. On the back side of the garage I also included a basketball hoop, so I feel like I did manage to include lots of outdoors activities in this build. So we're just finishing up with the interior of the garage and then we're continuing on with the interior of the main house. I did cut out some of the footage of me making the floor plan, but you can clearly see how it turned out when I'm going between the rooms, but I also have a screenshot in the end with a floor plan if you'd like to check it out. So the color scheme of the interior consists mostly of some of my favorite colors in the game, like the light blue, light wood and white. And I feel like they're colors I often associate with coastal builds as well, so I felt it fit very nicely with the concept. For the kitchen and living room, I didn't go for an open concept, but I did put an archway between the two rooms just to create a better flow. And the kitchen is very simple with some clutter and lots of dream home decorator cabinets and shelves, but also some cool kitchen stuff. And I don't often use that stuff pack, but I felt it was perfect here. So I got to, for example, use the tray of drinks item where you can make lemonade and stuff. And I also put the ice cream machine in the kitchen. 
So when it gets way too hot, you can cool down with some yummy ice cream. There's also a corner in this kitchen and I thought instead of just closing it up, I made a little coffee nook where I put the get-together coffee machines. And this angle shape of the room was just perfect for, for windows and the dining table. So there's lots of natural lights flowing in and you can watch what's happening outside when you're eating breakfast or dinner. And I went between dining tables a lot, I think. So I was contemplating using that Seasons one with a glass. And yeah, so... This was like the moment when I realized I wanted to use some of the cool kitchen stuff. So I did place uh, the oven and the fridge, the sink from that pack in the kitchen, along with, yeah, the dining table and some cute clutter, like the cutting boards and the dish rack. And yeah, <laughs> I think there's a lot of cute stuff actually coming with that pack. And I also eventually put some of the posters from that pack as well. And I always think it doesn't look very Max's match, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I did end up using that one here with like some of the black and white swatches, but it does have some very cute colorful swatches as well. And I also used those um, the hanging lights from that pack as well above the dining table. I used the uh, vase with the flowers and the candles. So I think I ended up using a lot from that pack, which I'm pretty satisfied with because it does look very cohesive with the rest, I think. And I hope you <laughs> think so too. And I also used, uh, like, above the sink, instead of just having the cabinets, I used those, like, shelves from Cool Kitchen as well. So, just to change it up a little bit. <laughs> In the entryway, I did use that idea that I often use, where I put some, some cabinets at, like, the bottom. And then I used that Dream Home Decorated couch and just size it down and then I lift it up a bit so it looks like there there are cushions on that yeah <laughs> that little area so you can sit on it and put on your shoes like very comfortably and I also put some of those pictures above that area and yeah just like a a mirror to check out how you look before you go I always love to use that little backpack so <laughs> for the kids and I eventually put some shelves and stuff in this entryway as well but you're going to see that eventually and the living room is also very simple just some couches I believe I went for those uh, parenthood couches uh, in like the plain color I know that couch has a lot of <laughs> crazy colors on it but I think my favorite one of that is just a plain one like black and white or gray I think white and gray <laughs> and it has some little cute cushions as well and there's also those dream home decorator shelves I used on the bottom and the top and on the side there's going to be um like a shelf for just glasses and cutlery and stuff and in the middle there's going to be the tv and around there's going to be i think i placed the magazines uh, the gaming console and just flowers i think and also on the coffee table there's going to be the little debug tv controller and a little candle and in the living room there's also going to be some big sliding doors to the backyard which i think looks nice so it has some 
uh, curtains on it and just beside that there's going to be some side tables with I think I put the little fish bowl on it and also that tray of drinks that I mentioned earlier and above just the tiny living mm, flower pictures I really do love those photos so I tend to use those I decided to include some footage of the three bathrooms I made and they're all pretty similar but I mixed some different showers and baths, tubs, bath tubs to at least get a little variety. So I think I mixed between the parenthood uh, bath and shower combo which has some really cute swatches unlike the curtain. I went for like the wavy one <laughs> that's probably one of my favorites along with the the one with the elephants but yeah that one has a lot of really nice colors as well and then the spa spa day bath top and then the last one just a regular uh, base game shower and all of them have the same color scheme I mentioned earlier again like with the light blue, the light wood, and the white. And I think at some point, by some mistake, I added one tile of the wood wallpaper, like by the sink, no, I think by the bathtub or something in one of the bathrooms. And when I noticed, I was actually liking how it looked, so I kind of replicated that idea in the other bathrooms as well. So yeah, just to get a little variety <laughs> just to spice it up a little so i hope you like that little detail as well so for the teen bedroom i imagine the teen would be very much into technology computers gaming and that kind of stuff but also fitness so i did size up those wall boards that came with parenthood i'm not really sure what they're supposed to be but maybe skateboards but I did size it out to make it look like a display of surfing boards and that fit really nicely with the coastal theme as well. So I added that little detail as well. And yeah, unfortunately that's not functional, but, but how cool would it be <laughs> if we had surfing? So I think if Island Living ever gets a refresh, I I'd definitely love to see a surfing skill. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> or maybe what other packs would you like to see refreshed in general? In this teen bedroom, I also included a small TV and the gaming console from City Living. So they have their little own space to game. <laughs> And they also got their own computer and a wardrobe, of course, uh, which is the wardrobe from City Living as well, with like the one door slightly open, so you kind of see some of the clothes and shoes and things. And above the PC, I put that base game cork board and I put those little debug post-it notes from Parenthood. I always forget about those since they're kind of hidden. Like, there isn't any icon for the objects, but <laughs> luckily I remembered to include them in this build. And I also put some of those on the fridge in the kitchen as well, so... And also on the actual parenthood board where you can put notes, drawings, and also pick the curfew time for when your kids have to be home. So that board I put in the entryway as well. And talking a little bit about the kid and toddler room, I kind of struggled with the color scheme of that one, so I did change those colors a lot. And I made some changes when I wasn't recording too, because I wasn't really satisfied. But you're going to see how it turns out when we're coming up to the screenshots. So as I mentioned earlier, I put the bunk bed with a normal bed on top and the toddler bed on the bottom. And in the beginning, I was contemplating putting just a toddler bed and yeah, in that little two square space. 
But then I got to thinking how much more convenient it would be to include the bunk bed. So when the toddler grows up, you can switch out the bed with a normal one. So it kind of allows you to do that small change without flipping the structure of the room upside down. And I was glad I went for this idea instead. So in this room as well, I did put a desk and I think I put the city living computer first, but then I switched it out with the base game uh, laptop instead. Because I was thinking there was only going to be a kid and a toddler here, so that would maybe fit uh, more, <laughs> like a laptop. And I also included the same ID as in the other room with the cork board and the post-it notes. And I did put that base game uh, shelf which has some graphics on it so I did choose the plain one with a white cloud but that one also has a lot of cute swatches and as we all know if you're doing gameplay and you've dealt with that like under the bed monster you'd it's absolutely a must to have a night light in this room so I did put the one from Parenthood, which is really cute <laughs> because it has an animation with the stars like moving back and forth on the wall. And I also included that uh, little owl nightlight on that uh, cloud shelf. And for the master bedroom, you'd also get a master bathroom. And the bedroom itself is also very plain, I'd say. Just a big cozy bed, some small night tables, a dresser with lots of makeup, hair stuff and nail stuff. So I would imagine one of the parents would be into wellness. So I did also include a yoga mat on the back patio. And here you will also find a desk and a computer. And instead of just using the small cork board as I did in the other rooms, I ended up using the, the larger one that you'd use for the style influencer career. So I just placed one of the handmade artworks that came with seasons on top of it using the tumor. <laughs> and yeah, I think it looks really cute to imagine that the parents would put up like the artworks that their kids make, so I did include that here. So that's pretty much all I'd like to say about this build, and we're soon coming up to the screenshots as well. So as always, you can find this build on the gallery. My ID is Alric, but you can also find it under the hashtag HanimeSims. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more content, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!